On the night of July 2nd, 1947, something crashed in the desert near Roswell, New Mexico. A weather balloon? Maybe. Or an alien spacecraft? Can any of these incidents be real? Or just another elaborate hoax? Tonight, we'll examine these facts of the incidents and others and leave it up to you to decide. That week, Mac Brazel, a rancher of Corona, New Mexico, discovered the wreckage. Neither Mac nor his neighbors could identify the materials of the crash. They then contacted the local authorities, who continued to bring in the military personnel from the airfield in Roswell. Initially, the airbase commander acknowledged the crash as an alien flying disc, but only hours later, a higher-ranking official retracted the earlier statement, calling the object a weather balloon with a radar targeting device attached. Of course, the changing of reports is why this has grown to the frenzy it is today. I mean, if I were to present you with a small animal in a bag saying first it was a cat, then a dog, well, you would be very interested in knowing what's in the bag, especially if you and your friends heard meows. Well, that's exactly what the Air Force commander did, starting the fire over what exactly crashed that night. Naturally, the Air Force published an official report called the Roswell Incident Report. Well, the report released from the government outlined the entire case. It had even gone to the extent to explain the unauthorized statement given originally to the public. It was very thorough, giving all of the so-called facts from the incident's beginnings to its closure in 1994. Also, the authorities who issued this report said what the crash definitely was not. These events included airplane, a missile, a nuclear incident. However, they also said it was no extraterrestrial crash, but this is still to be determined. Despite this report, the argument still rages on about the incident and many other sightings and abductions. Let's hear the story of someone that claims to have been abducted. They request to remain anonymous. Well, I was in my home in the woods when I saw a strange circular pattern of light outside my window. I went outside and I watched the lights come toward my house. It, it made absolutely no sound. It stopped above me and a bright greenish light illuminated my body. My memory after that is all blur. Oh God. I can remember lying on a table with the creatures all around me. It was all advanced technology that, that I've never seen before. I woke the next morning in my yard and I ached all over. I had a lump on the back of my ear, but it wasn't visible. The fuzzy memories have only been revealed to me from sessions of hypnosis. There are, of course, many people who propose that they've been taken by aliens, most of them probably just seeking attention. However, a few cases should, could very possibly be real, uh, as real as the Roswell incident might be. This particular situation seems that it holds some truth, seeing that it was discovered by hypnosis. Roswell is a never-ending conspiracy that has been in question for over 60 years. Was there really an alien spaceship that crashed on Earth? Or was it in fact just a weather balloon as stated by the government? This issue will remain questionable until we have the government retract its statement, or until one day, possibly far into the future, when the aliens decide to make a proven contact with Earth. <laughs>